So first of all, Charlie, thanks so much for uh, coming on and talking to us today. Well, first of all, what is the thing that motivates a young a guy in his early 20s to start a movement? Well, I started it actually when I was 18. And um, I mean, look, I'm a patriot at my core. And I felt like we were losing our country, and I still do. And we live in the greatest country ever to exist in the history of the world. No country or culture is even close. And um, it takes people to rise up and do something to save that republic. And if enough people do that, then our country has a fighting chance. And that has what really has compelled me since day one. And how did it go from just idea to movement? Yeah. The acronym CBWA, Conceive, Believe, Work, Achieve. So you have an idea, you believe in it, you work towards it, and then you achieve it. And uh, that, the hardest part is not the idea. A lot of people have ideas. The belief is the, is the hardest part. The work is the part you have to really commit yourself to, and then the achievement is fine. So the belief, if you actually believe in yourself, it's a very, very difficult thing to do. Most people, they'll say it, but they actually don't do it because take risk. And when you, when you believe in yourself, then you have to extend yourself, you might fail. Um, and so, you know, we did that time and time again, and we've, we've seen amazing success. And you can see thousands and thousands of students from all 50 states and six countries represented, and it's only going to go up from here. That's amazing. And you, well, you, mentioned, you mentioned faith, and you've got to believe in yourself. How does your faith sort of shape what you do? It's everything. Uh, I'm an evangelical Christian. Um, the Bible is the greatest book ever written. And um, you and I were joking off camera about my conversation with a rabbi who uh, doesn't believe in the Torah. So that's amazing to me. Um, but I don't know if he doesn't believe in it. He, doesn't, he, th he thought it was like propaganda or some crazy thing. Um, but it's everything. And if we had more people of faith in this country, our country would be a better place. And um, I mean, I have so much respect for the people in the Jewish tradition. I really do. The reverence, the, the commitment to law, the understanding of you know the strict teachings of the Torah, it's, it's amazing. And the world's a better place because of the Jewish people. So you work a lot with young people. Where do you see the trajectory of faith going among college students, college yeah. campuses? It's not good. The, most, the quickest growing religion in America is atheism. And atheism is a religion, make no mistake. Uh, it's a false religion, but a religion has core beliefs, they have that. A religion proselytizes its believers, they have that. And a religion um, tries to grow its ranks. They do, I mean, th those are things all that atheists do. And um, there are more atheists than Christians now on college campuses. It's very scary. And um, we need more people in the Judeo-Christian tradition to revere faith. And if you, if you have no faith, then what do you have? And it just starts, first of all, with the faith that there's a higher being, that there's an omnipotent, omniscient, omnipresent God, something the Jews and the Christians equally share. And um, look, there would be no Christianity without the Jews. And that's what, you know, obviously... The devout evangelical Christians understand that. That's why the fiercest defenders of Israel are evangelical Christians, right? And uh, there's no greater ally than Israel than you'll find in me or find in the, you know, the Christian community. You have people like Ben Shapiro who influence a lot of young people through political commentary and Stephen Crowder, a lot of young people through comedy and Jordan Peterson, a lot of young people through psychology. What would it take for a religious leader to be able to instill religious values in young people to the same extent. Ben is terrific. Steven's great. Jordan is a hero. They're all amazing. And um, look, just commitment to core values. The one thing that Ben Shapiro and Steven Crowder and Jordan Peterson all have in common is they don't back away from their core values or their beliefs. And I think that's so important. They don't compromise just because people get upset. And I think a lot of people can learn from that. So Thank you so much, Charlie. And keep up the great work. Hey, everyone. If you liked that video, please consider hitting that subscribe button in the corner for more great content.